Bloom House's Fantasy Island is a Fantasy Island horror movie. The movie is about these people that win this all stay vacation at Fantasy Island and rumor on the street is your greatest fantasies are granted on this island. So people get there, everything's great. They're trying to figure out how do they do it? Is it CGI, holograms, special effects? What is it, people dressing up? Well, dude that runs the island, he's like, look, you'll find out soon enough. And what happens is everybody has their own fantasy. And yes, the island has something going on where people's fantasies are fulfilled. And yeah, uh, things get bad though. These fantasies, they're good fantasies, but they're probably going to turn to bad fantasies. So maybe your fantasy is you want your mom back and your mom comes back, but then your mom becomes like this creature thing with blood running out of her eyes. There's definitely a catch to this island. So now the people want to escape. And at the very end, there's this plot twist, and you kind of find out what's causing the fantasies to come true, because they are real. And yeah, just the big plot, there's a big old plot twist at the end, honestly. Like, that is basically what this movie's about. Yeah, um, with that, Bloomhouse's Fantasy Island Review, and honestly... This movie was pretty good. Uh, this was my second time seeing it. And yeah, I enjoyed it both times. I uh, wish maybe they would have did a little bit more during Homie's uh, fantasy about going to war. Because that's just a crazy ass fantasy. And I feel like there was like tons of opportunities for him to get killed. Maybe they should have just killed him off right away. I don't know. But... Nonetheless, yeah, uh, this movie was just really good acting, uh, and the practical effects wasn't really any, and the blood kind of wasn't the best, but that doesn't really take away from the movie, because just the acting and the story was pretty good, the uh, story and the little plot twist at the end, so like, uh, spoilers, obviously, it's the review, but um... The girl on the cover, uh, the main one uh, in the front and the center, she uh, she's the bad guy, basically. I mean, is she even a bad guy? She was, like, viciously bullied to the point where it caused, like, huge psychological problems. And, uh, yeah, her boyfriend that she liked, the only person basically to really like her, uh, gets murdered in this apartment fire. And basically, she goes to this island, and her fantasy is to get revenge on the people that didn't help her boyfriend. And so, yeah, the island brings them to the island like it's their fantasies. In reality, it's her fantasy. Bunch of fantasies inside of fantasies, like Inception, dreams inside of dreams. But nonetheless, it's pretty good. It had a nice little plot twist, and uh, just some of the stuff was pretty nice i really like this movie nothing too crazy is gonna happen in this movie but it's enjoyable the concept of just an island that can like kind of create and warp reality is nuts because it's like say for instance with the one lady it gives her a kid five years worth of memories uh allows her to go into the past and rewrite time i mean yeah it's only on that island but I don't know if that's really rewriting time or just warping reality. Nonetheless, this island's pretty strong off of that water stuff. So, yeah, all in all, an enjoyable movie. Uh, great camera work. Honestly, I just enjoyed it. I like the actors and actresses in it. It was a great cast. Just pretty enjoyable. So my recommendation for Bloomhouse's Fantasy Island, and I mean, for all the praise that I just gave the movie, it was nothing special. 
and so I'm just going to recommend it. I would definitely recommend this. It was an enjoyable watch, but I want to put it any higher than that. I mean, from just really thinking about it, it really didn't do nothing. It was just a fun little watch, honestly. So, but that's not bad in any way because, I mean, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. So, but can't really think of anything that I'm like, besides like maybe the acting, because the actors and actresses did really, really well. There wasn't really nothing pushing the boundaries. So, yeah, still recommended. Very good.